Hello and welcome to this quick tip. This quick tip is all about uh, this thing here. Now this is actually the URUAV digital FPV goggle uh, adapter for analog systems. So what you do is you kind of plug in your FPV uh, module, something like your maybe your Rapid Fire or your TBS Fusion or your True DX, whatever it is, into here, and this goes onto the side of the goggles. Now, the way this comes, it is designed to actually screw into the side of the goggles and not be removable. Now, I've got mine and I really wanted it to be removable because, to be honest, I'm not going to be using the goggles an awful lot. Now, this is one of those situations where if you're somebody who owns a 3D printer uh, is the kind of moments that put a big grin in your face. So I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll design this part. And this part is uh, something that can fit on the side of the goggles and be low profile and not removable. And there'll be a corresponding piece on the back that goes on to the back of the URUA DJI Digital FPV Goggle Receiver Board. Now, let me just show you what this looks like. I've put the files on Thingiverse. I'll put the links down below. Uh, if you're interested in knowing uh, how you set these goggles up and uh, done in kind of a no-hype way, I've also got a video on that. I'll put a link down below. So the way it actually looks in real life, there's the unit that goes on the side. Apologies, it means that you've got to have my painless pill on if you uh, use this file. And the way it works is on the back of this unit, there's a corresponding piece. Both pieces are held on with double-sided foam tape. And that now means that when I want to connect it, I just slide it on, it locks into place, and then I can do the cables, I can kind of plug them in. And then by plugging the power into uh, this board, plugging in one of the digital, um, one of the analog FPV systems in here, making sure it's turned on, then I can select that input and watch analog FPV in the goggles. But it also means that when I've had enough, because um, I don't use these a lot for analog, I'll be honest, I prefer to use my fat sharks for analog, then I can undo the little clip, pull the piece off, and the goggles still fit into the case with that little piece at the side so that means that I can still carry everything around. So uh, if you're interested in this kind of stuff but you didn't want it there's loads of different options for mounting this kind of thing uh, at the front of the goggles at the side and other pieces. Um, I'll put a link down below again to this particular one uh, from URUAV and I'll put a link to my Thingiverse pieces if you want to print this and make this little snap-on adapter yourself. But again, if you're interested in 3D printing, or you may be thinking about taking it up uh, with all of the problems in the world right now, maybe you're stuck at home for a little bit of time, it might be time to check out my uh, 3D printing for radio control series because this kind of stuff for 3D printing is kind of what I got it for. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.